Hello everyone and welcome to another Symphony tutorial. Today we're going to talk about combo meals. Now I will warn you, this topic is quite complex so this video will be quite long, but you guys requested it so here you go. Before we can start the configuration of the combo meals themselves, there are quite a few option bits we have to check in order to make sure combo meals will work. We'll start with control parameters. Under the setup tab, we will open control parameters and go to the options tab and we will check option number 12. No confirmation required when creating combo meals from existing menu items. I like to keep that checked so there is no prompt that appears on the screen for the servers. Next, we'll have to check our discounts. So we're gonna go to the configuration tab and click on discounts. Open up one of the discounts we have available and we're gonna check option bit number 25, discount combo meal group items. So if you'd like your discounts to apply to the combo meals, you'll have to make sure that all of your discounts have this option bit enabled. Once you're done, go ahead and close discounts. Next, we'll check order type parameters. Under the setup tab, we're gonna open order type parameters and for all of our order types, we'll click on the ellipses here under the options and ensure that option number five is selected. Perform auto combo recognition. Once you're done, go ahead and close order type parameters. Next, we have to check the roles tab. We can find that under the configuration, open roles. Open all of your roles, go to the operations tab and look for item number 155. This item will enable the employees to perform automatic combo meal recognition from previous round menu items. If you would like your servers to do that, make sure it's checked, or at least it should be checked for the managers. Once you're done, go ahead and close roles. And next, we will move to the property tab. Here, we have to open the workstations tab, which we'll find under the setup, workstations. Open our workstation. Go to the Options tab and look for option bit number 46. This option will allow you to disable auto combo items on the fly. I do not want it checked for any of my workstations, but if you have any of them that you do not want to auto combo by themselves, make sure you check this option. Next, we're going to go to the Revenue Center and we're going to open RVC parameters. We're going to go to the search bar and type in combo. I have option bits 51, 52, 55, 58 and 62 enabled and option bit number 69 disabled. If you'd like to auto combo return menu items then make sure you check number 69 as well. Once you're done go ahead and close RVC parameters. And now that we have all of that taken care of we can start with a configuration. The first thing we'll have to configure are some menu item classes. I have my menu item classes programmed at the enterprise level so I'm going to select that. In the configuration section, I'm going to click menu item classes. So what I did here is I created a combo meal section and I've created different menu item classes for my main items, my sides, beverages and combo items themselves. Whilst this is not 100% necessary, there are some advanced configurations that you can do which will require you to have separate menu item classes for it. So I just built them from the beginning. So let's take a look at the main items here. And this menu item class will be used for my sandwiches, my hot dogs, or whatever the main item in your combo is. So this is the general tab. Everything is programmed regularly. In the option bits, I have number 7, 8, 12, 18, 26, 27, 30, 38. I'm going to scroll down. 55 and 59 selected. In the condiments group, I don't have any required condiments, but you'll have to make sure to check any allowed condiment groups you might allow them to use, such as modifiers or sides or anything else like that. What I do is I have all of these combined at the bottom where I have an all mods and all prefixes, which will include everything. So basically everything is allowed with this menu item class. Sides are programmed exactly the same. Beverages are also programmed very similar. The only difference is in the sales itemizers and the discount itemizers. And combo meals are programmed just like the main item and the sides. Make sure you add all of your menu item classes and then close menu item classes tab. Next, we're going to add the menu items themselves. So I'm going to open menu item maintenance and click the search bar to populate my database. Now I've already added mine just in the interest of saving time. 
and I'll show you how I configure them. So what I did is here all the way where the food ends at 13,000, I created this category and I named it combo meals. And I have a section for main items. And this is where I have my chicken sandwich, hamburger, cheeseburger, and hot dog. So these are the main item that comes in my combo. These are all the different sides they can choose. So I have fries, onion rings, and fruit cup. So I have a medium and a large for them to choose. And for beverages, I just kept it simple. I have Coke, Diet, and Sprite, again, with medium and large. So in the menu item master records, everything is just as you would expect. Their major group is food or beverage, respectively. And then once you are done with adding your regular meals, we also have to add the combos themselves. So here right underneath, I have a chicken sandwich ML, which stands for meal, which is also configured as food entree. And then all the other combos that you might like to use, such as hamburger meal, cheeseburger meal, hot dog meal. So these are going to be the combos. These are going to be the main items. If somebody just wants a sandwich, they're going to order this one. If somebody wants a meal, they're going to order this one. And now let's move to the definitions tab and see how we have these programmed. So let's start with the items. So for the menu items, they're just using the menu item classes that I just programmed. Main, main items, side items, beverages, and combo items. All the main levels and sub levels are all FF. So that means everything is selected, all of the items. Same for sub levels. And I didn't put them on a screen lookup. Since we keep using screen lookups in these videos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hard code these items so we can take a look at how we would program a screen using hard coded items. Nothing else here in the configuration that you might need to worry about. And I also added their prices. So I have my main items, which cost 12, 13, 11 dollars. And then my side items, so I'm charging $3 for a medium side and I'm charging $4 for a large side. And then the combos themselves. So my chicken sandwich combo is 16, 16, 17, 15. So basically they just look like any other regular menu item uh, that you might add. Once you are done with entering all of your main item sides, beverages and combos, go ahead and close menu item maintenance. Now that we programmed our menu item classes and menu items, we can start designing the combo meals themselves. So here under the configuration tab, we're going to first open combo meal groups. Now in combo meal groups, we have to add first all of the meals themselves and secondly, all of the sides and beverages together. So I'm going to click insert and I'm going to start at position number 100 and I'm going to create a group called sides. And then I'm going to click OK. So now that I have my group, I can go ahead and open it up. And in the general tab, all I have to do is click allow discounts and then move to the items tab. Here in the items tab, I'm going to go ahead and add all of my sides here. So I'm going to click add. Then select here for the primary menu item and find my first side. I'm searching for MD since I know that my sides contain MD and LG for medium and large. So I'm going to select my fries first and then click OK. And now that I have my first side added, my medium fries, I want them to be the default for any kind of combo that gets created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check all of these option bits here for default when no order type is declared. Also for dining and takeout. And they only get one side here. So if you get multiple sides of fries or something else, then you can just change the quantity. Here further down, we have size item one, two, three, and four. This is where we're going to be able to change between medium and large fries. Now, usually I put small, medium, large. So I'm going to leave size one as none. So once we have all of our sides added, I'm going to fill in these sizes two and three for medium and large. So we'll be able to change between them. So next, we're going to add our large fries. I'm going to click select here. And I know this item is 14001. So the other one is going to be 14002 just to make it easier to find it and then click OK. And then I'm going to add another one and add my other sides. Medium onion rings, large onion rings. So now that I have all of my combo group items, I'm gonna go ahead and save and then hit a quick refresh. 
So now that I've saved and reloaded the page, I can go back to my medium fries and now I'll be able to select the sizes. So size two is gonna be medium and size three will be large. And I'll do the same for this one, medium fries, large fries. Onion rings, medium onion rings, large onion rings, and I'll do the same for everything else. Now that I'm done adding all the sizes, I'm gonna go ahead and save again. And we also have to add the upcharges for the large items. So for large fries, we upcharge 50 cents. So here under the prices tab, I'm gonna click add. And for the price, I'm gonna say 50 cents. And then save. And then I'll do the same for large onion rings and the large fruit cup. And that concludes the configuration of the sides. Next, we're gonna add our beverages. So I'm gonna insert a new one and I'm gonna send it to position 200 just to leave some space for myself here in case I need to add something in the future. And I'm gonna name it beverages. Click okay. And do the same thing that I did with the sides. Go to the general tab, click allow discounts, save, go to the items, add an item, general tab, click select and start adding all of my sodas. Okay, now that I've added all of them, I'm gonna do the same, save, refresh, go to my medium Coke, and I'm gonna choose this one as the default. So when we create any kind of combo meal, it's gonna default to medium fries and medium Coke, and save again. And now I have to add the sizes. And again, for size two, I'm gonna select the medium size, and then for size three, I'm gonna select the large, and I'll do the same for everything else. So now that I've added all of my sizes, I'm gonna save and I'm gonna go through and add the 50 cents for the additional large items. So large Coke gets 50 cents, medium diet doesn't get anything, large diet gets 50 cents, and I'll do the same for the Sprite. And after I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and save. And we've added both our sides and our beverages. Next, we'll have to add all of our sandwiches. So I'm gonna insert a new record and I'm gonna go to position 1000 and I'm gonna add my first main menu item, which is the chicken sandwich. I'm gonna click okay. And then here in the general tab, I will want to allow discounts go back to the items, add, general tab, and add my chicken sandwich. And I'm adding the main item, not the combo. So don't select the meal itself, we'll select the main item and then click okay. We don't need defaults or size items for this one and we don't need upcharges either. I'm gonna go ahead and save and add the next one. And this is gonna be my hamburger and then click OK. Same thing, allow discounts, add my item, select it, and select my hamburger. And I'll do the same for the rest of the items. And now that we added all the items, that's all the configuration we need to do in the combo meal groups. So we have a group with our sides, a group with our beverages, and then each of the main menu items added as a group themselves. Now we can go ahead and close this and we can open combo meals. Here we will construct our combo meals out of the groups we just created. So I'm gonna click insert and I'm gonna jump to position 1000 and I'm gonna name this one chicken sandwich meal and then click OK. So this is my first meal, I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And the first thing we need to do is select the menu item master. So I'm gonna go ahead and click select and I'm gonna add the meal I created in menu items earlier. Here it is, chicken sandwich meal, and this is the one from the combo meals, not just the menu item itself. Click OK. I'll leave it as priority zero for now. For the auto combo algorithm, I'm gonna select best deal for customer. In the option bits, I'm gonna select option bin number two and option bit number 10. In the combo groups, I'm gonna click add so for my primary group, this will be my chicken sandwich. I'm gonna select OK. I'm gonna click Add again. My next item in the meal will be the side. And I'm gonna click Add again. 
and finally my beverages. So basically this is how we construct our combo meals out of the chicken sandwich, one side and one beverage and then we're gonna save. And we'll do that for the rest of the combo meals we have. Okay, so I am done adding all four of my meals and they're programmed all exactly the same with the exception that they have a different menu item master and a different primary combo group. Now I can go ahead and close combo meals and we will have to design a special page for it in order to add all of our menu items. So I'm gonna open page design, open my transactions area, I'm gonna change the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 to match my widescreen workstations. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new navigation area here at the top and I'm just gonna create it combo screen. So I'm gonna click on one of the tabs and I'm gonna click on add navigation bar item and I am gonna name it combo. And I'm just gonna create it with two tabs for now just in case I need them and then click okay. And now that I have my new tab, I'm gonna move it to the left just so that it is between my food and drinks and I have all of the space here. I'm gonna rename tab one to combos and then tab two we can keep it for something like mods or something else in the future. Gonna go back to my combos area and I'm gonna start adding my buttons on the screen. So since I'm gonna be hard coding the keys and I have four combo meals, I like to lay them up all at the top here. So I'm gonna change the size of my grid and I'm gonna make it a 10 by four. Let's see how that would look. I'm gonna click yes. So I have four slots at the top. I'm gonna add a button and I'm gonna make it as small as this. And let's see, we can make it maybe yellow. And then here, instead of a function, I want it to be a menu item. So I'm gonna select menu item. And from this, I'm actually gonna select the meals. So I'd like to have the meals at the top. So we have our chicken sandwich meal first. And I can click generate legend. So I have my name. And we're gonna go to the advanced. And I'm gonna change this. Let's try 25. Okay, 25 looks pretty good. So we have our first chicken sandwich meal and I'm gonna use this button as a template. So I'm gonna copy it, paste another one and I'm gonna put it right next to it. So instead of a chicken sandwich meal, I'm gonna add a hamburger meal and then I'm gonna click generate legend. So I have the name correctly and then I can select both of these and copy them and then paste them in place. So I got two more buttons and now we're gonna select our cheeseburger meal, generate legend and finally our hot dog meal and then generate legend. So now I have all of my meals here at the top. Next, I wanna wanna try and add my sandwiches as well. So I'm gonna copy this, paste it, add it here. So instead of selecting the meal, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the sandwich. So I'm gonna select chicken sandwich and click generate legend. And I'm also gonna change the color, this nice, blue cyan color would look good and I'm gonna copy it, paste that in place and do the same thing I did with the meals only with the sandwiches. So there's my hamburger, copy both of these, paste them in place, move them up and I'm gonna add my cheeseburger, generate legend and finally my hot dog. So now I have my meals and then I have my sandwiches. Next, let's add the sides. So I'm gonna add this here. And let's scroll down to where we have our fries. So we have our medium fries here. And let's change the color of these as well. We can go with a lime color and then copy and we can paste it in place. So this is gonna be where we have our medium size. I'm thinking medium fries here, large fries here, medium onion rings here, and then large right underneath. And let's see, medium onion rings. And then one more. And this can be our medium fruit cup. Generate legend on this as well. So now we have all three of these. I can copy all three and then I'll paste them right underneath and move them. And I can change the color so they're slightly different from this one. I'm still gonna stick with a green, but slightly different. 
So now we have fries. I'm going to select my large fries and click generate legend. And now my large onion rings and generate legend. And finally, my large fruit cup and generate legend. Now you can make these buttons as fancy as you want them. You can even add images to them. So you can place an image on the left, on the right, in the middle, and then you can add that image in content and just paste the name of the image here. And then you can align the text. So for example, if you want to align the text to the left and then add an image here on the right, and then you just put image on the right and then just paste the name here whenever you add it in content. So I'm going to let this stay at center. And if you have a taller button, so for example, if you do the button like this, then you can also put it center aligned and then vertically aligned as well. I'm going to leave these very simple and have them here. And now I'm going to actually copy this entire block and I'm going to paste it here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little space to differentiate my sides. And here is where I'm going to add my drinks. So I also have medium drinks and large drinks. So let's change the colors here. And we're going to go with uh, this mauve color. And then for the large ones, I'm going to go with pink. So instead of fries, I'm going to go ahead and select drinks. So here we have medium Coke. So I'm going to go generate legend. So medium Coke, large Coke, diet and Sprite. And I'll be right back. OK, so now that I'm done with my drinks, I have my Cokes, diet and Sprite. I'm going to add two more buttons here and I'm going to add a combo and uncombo button. So let me select one of these guys and copy it and paste it right here. And I'm also going to make it larger. So this is different. Now this is not going to be a menu item. This is going to be a function. So I'm going to go back to the functions at the top and I'm going to look for the combo function. So I'm going to select combo. I'm going to generate legend on it and I'm going to make it a different color. So I'm going to go with this amber color and then I'm going to copy this guy and I'm going to paste it right next to it. And this is going to be an on combo key. So we have on combo. Generate legend and I'm going to change the color slightly. This brown looks interesting. So now if somebody just wants to order a meal right away, we can just push a meal. If somebody orders a sandwich or a side, then we can just ring that up. And if we want to combo it in the end, let's say that they do want to combo it, we can press the combo key. If we want to uncombo it and change to something else, we can uncombo it. And we also have to add a side substitution here. So if somebody changes their minds from fries and they say, can I have onion rings? Then we're going to add a side substitution here at the bottom. So I'm going to click on the screen, go here to others, and I'm going to select condiment combo order. So I got this screen lookup and I'm going to make it so that it fits my little two slot here. And then what I want to do is I'm going to uncheck required and allowed and I'm going to want it to display the title bar and I'm going to make it be a combo meal side. I'm going to say it's going to support auto active and stay down. Next, I'm going to move to the layout section. So here I'm going to make it just grid and this can stay horizontal. Now, right now it's a five by five. So I'm going to make it a two by four. Maybe that should make it the same size as everything else. So it's going to look nice. I'm going to remove the home and end, but I will allow the auto paging. And here I'm going to sort it alphabetically since it's going to be easier. I will check the box to use sort priority. For the font size, I'm going to change it to about a 25 and we'll see how that looks like. And I'm going to move to the style section. And here for the button style, I'm going to choose this emerald color. And for the navigation, I'm going to choose steel. I'm not going to mess with anything else. And I'm not going to add anything in the advanced section. Now, this looks just like a white block right now. But once we go to the workstation, you'll see what it will show us. Now that we're done, we can go ahead and save. The last item that I'm going to add on my page here is a done button. So I'm going to copy one of these guys 
and paste it right here right in this area and I'm gonna change the color we'll go with this aquamarine color and we're gonna go to functions and in functions we're gonna select item done and then click OK and then generate legend and I'm just gonna remove item I'm just gonna leave done so what this is gonna do is imagine that somebody orders a chicken sandwich and they change it to an onion ring and they also want an order of french fries different from the combo if we push french fries that's just gonna change the onion rings to french fries so in order to allow us to go to another item we'll just push this done key and now that everything is ready we'll just save and we can go to the workstation and test everything out okay so here we are at the workstation and i'm gonna click a quick update then gonna go ahead and sign in and begin a fast transaction let's go to our combo section and we have our screen here which looks perfect and i'm gonna order a chicken sandwich meal and it looks really good we have our chicken sandwich meal which is composed of the chicken sandwich medium fries and medium coke so the defaults came in perfectly we also have here at the bottom the combo and uncombo keys let's see if they work okay uncombo combo back up okay that works now this is where we can change our sides and i'm not a big fan of how that looks First of all, it's kind of small, and second of all, they're all together, so we got fries and drinks and everything combined. So I'm gonna wanna change that. So I'm gonna cancel out. So let's go back to EMC and change the way that screen looks. Okay, so here we are back in EMC, and what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I wanna make this a little bit bigger. So what I can do is move these up a little bit by one spot and I'm going to increase the size of this and I'm also going to make the layout a 3 by 4 and I'm going to change it from a grid into a tabbed grid. So what that's going to do is it's going to have the tabs on the side so I can select between the sides and the drinks. So I'm going to go ahead and save that really quick. And also, I want to add some buttons that will let me change between medium and large. So I'll put the combo on combo here to the right. And I'm going to copy these two keys and then paste them right here. Now, I know this visual glitch makes it look like the slew disappeared, but it's still here. If you can see the little dots, it's still in this area. So I'm going to leave it alone. And what I'm going to do with these two buttons is I'm going to make them combo sizes. So I'm going to select combo size and this is going to be size number two. And if you recall, we used to have size number two and three for the medium and large. So I'm going to say medium meal. And then this one is going to be size number three, which is going to transform it into a large meal. So I'm going to select three. And I'm going to say large meal. And I can also change these colors a little bit. I kind of made it a lot of colors here. You can make yours look a little bit better. So I'm going to select blue for this one. And I'm going to select this crisp and red for this one. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and save. And let's go back to our workstation and see how it looks now. Okay, so we're back at the workstation. We're going to click a quick update and sign in now. Begin a fast transaction. Go back to our combo area and we have our chicken sandwich meal. And this is not what I wanted. I think I messed up and selected the list. So let's go back really quick to EMC and change that. Select this. And just as I thought, I selected a tabbed list box. What I wanted was a tabbed grid box. Okay, and now my grid is back save it and let's go back to the workstation again okay so we're back click a quick update sign in begin a fast transaction go back to our combo area order our chicken sandwich meal and this is what i wanted okay so now we have our sides here and we can see all of them and we also have our beverages and we can see all of them so now if we go large meal, this will change both of these large. Medium meal will change it back. And let's say if somebody wants, instead of fries, they want onion rings and they say, hey, can I have large onion rings? Then you can just change that. If they want to change their drink, all you have to do is touch the drink and go here to a large Diet Coke. 
And now when we're done with it, all we have to do is click done and we can start another item. Now let's try an auto combo. Since we enabled auto combo, if I order a hamburger, a large fruit cup and a large Sprite, then it should auto combo it for me. So that's perfect. It did do that. Let's say the customer changes their mind and they say, you know, I don't want a large fruit cup. I actually want large fries. You can just click on that, switch it back to large fries and then hit done. And you also have the combo on combo here if you ever need to use them. Uh, let's try one more. The customer says, I'll have a hot dog. Would you like any sides with that? Yes, I would like large fries and a large diet Coke. So that automatically made it a combo. And if they don't want it as a combo, all we have to do is say uncombo it and now they're individual items. So all of our combo meals work perfect just as we expected. Now, if you are gonna program a screen like this, just put in a little bit more effort than I did with these colors because right now they're just kind of a mess and they're bothering my eyes. And you can also add a couple of pictures to the buttons if you are in a quick service scenario and that's gonna help the cashiers visualize this a little bit better. And you will have probably more menu items than I have here. So just increase your grid and make the buttons a little bit smaller. Now we can make the programming even more complex with the default condiments on each menu item and enhanced prefixes. So when you click a hamburger, for example, you would see all of the components and you can add and take off some of them. And you also have the add no extra enhanced condiments. So let me know in the comments below if anybody is interested in seeing any of that. If you are interested in more Symfony tutorials, we have created an entire platform that will teach you everything you need to know in order to maintain your Oracle Micro Symfony POS system. You can also ask for help from our programming team. You can access everything by visiting simsupport.online. And as a special thank you, I am also including a coupon code for you. You can find all the details in the description below. Leave a like if you found this helpful and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.